author, queen of radio, daytime talk show host, producer. We're going to get into all of this. Y'all make some noise for the legendary Wendy Williams. How you doing? <laughs> That's the first thing. The second thing is the closer that you get, the better it'll be, okay? Unless you just want to sit down. But then I won't be able to see you. Okay. Now, first of all, um, you know I have a lymphedema. Do you know what that is? I have it on my feet. My feet are all broken up down there. I, I refuse to get in a wheelchair, though. But, but I, I refuse. Like, I'm only 58 years young. Okay. You know. But I say all that to say, thank you so much for being here today. I see some people sitting in the back. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, where do we begin? <laughs> we begin at the beginning. Okay, so for 14 years, I was doing the Wendy Williams show. And as much as I loved doing it, I was, time, I was ready to do something new with my life, you know? It, it, I mean, it was really becoming a burden after 14 years, waking up at 5 a.m., mm. getting myself at my apartment, you know, in, in you know, my apartment together, and then coming to the uh, Wendy Williams show, and then all of a sudden, and I had wonderful people working at the Wendy Williams show, you know? People who did hair, makeup, and wardrobe, but it was more to that. You know, it's changing bulbs and, and making sure that everything is clean. And, um, you know, for me, I was just ready for something new, you know? So the new thing for me is podcasts. <laughs> Woo! Tell us about it. Well, I have to tell you. First of all, I didn't know anything much about podcasts. All those things, podcasts, and, you know, I was so busy doing the Wendy Williams show that I didn't have time to think about this, that, the second, and the third. When I finally stopped doing the Wendy Williams show, I said, wow, I could do anything I want or nothing at all. So I was like, well, what do I want to do? Well, I want to do something different, something new. And so podcast is one of those things. Now, clap if you know what podcast is. Anybody okay. know? Clap if you have no idea what podcast is. Okay, wow, okay. Well, from what I understand, podcast is where anybody could be on podcast. You know, you guys can have podcasts yourselves and so on and so forth. But the more famous you are, the more, I think, wonderful it'll be for me because now I can... I, I feel like I'm talking to people that we've known each other for 14 years. And by the way, before 14 years doing that, remember, I was doing radio. WBLS. Radio. WBLS. Home. WBLS was the last one that I did. But I did so many different um, radios, uh, you know, of those, that I was just ready to do something different. So with podcast, I'll be able to wear the, what I want and look the way I want you know, for good or for bad, and, and just be free, you know? Yeah. So um, just please keep, you, keep it in mind with podcasts, and I'll let you know when that starts, because that, that's going to be starting pretty soon, like in the next few weeks. Then all of a sudden mm. there's podcasts. And um, what's the name of it? The Wendy Williams Podcast. It's weird, because my real last name is Hunter. I wasn't born a hunter, but um, I married a hunter, and then we had our son, who's now uh, 22 my son. But for the purpose of being doing the Wendy Williams show, it's really weird. They wanted me to use Williams because that's my real last name when I was first born. But Williams brings in the black part of it. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm going to be on TV, but I have to be um, Williams, which is not my last name. And yeah. so now it's really weird because both names are equally as important to me now. Yeah. You know, because if I say, hi, it's Wendy Hunter, you wouldn't, you, you don't right. know who that is, you know? True, true. I would rather just say Wendy, but apparently you have to use a last name for something or another, <laughs> you know? Right. So, well, let's talk about the podcast, because you've done a lot. Yes. You've been on Broadway. Yes. You've been in movies. Yes. Do you want to do more of those? Mm -hmm. um, no, thank you. <laughs> Th those are things that I did while I was doing the Wendy Williams show, and those are things that I picked on my, on my own time, yeah. you know? Um, as far as, would you say, the, um, the first one that Broadway. I did? Broadway. Oh, my gosh. That was one of the best, worst things of my life. Oh, tell me why. 
because of the time, you know, because you have to be on time. Because, you know, it was very small in there. Right. Everything was, you know, upstairs, downstairs. You had to hold on. At that time, I had lymphedema at that time, you know. And it was just, it was a lot of thought involved with doing that. Right. I had fun doing it, but I'm happy to say, no, thank you. I don't want to do that anymore. And, you know, the whole podcast thing, um, that's probably my biggest achievement right now. Oh, wow. In, in terms of what I want to do, you know, and bring everybody along. You know, so, but you have a lot of achievements inducted into the Hall of Fame. That's yes. huge. Yes. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah, you could clap for that. Yeah. That's huge. Thank you. Uh, how did that moment feel for you? That felt great. It's big. I love that. And I especially love that, you know, there were like, there were like 25 times more people there than just who I'm seeing right here, right now. Right. A lot of times when you go on those Walk of Fames, nobody's there except for the person getting inducted into the Walk of Fame. Do you know what I mean? But when I went there, I was so shocked. There were so many people. People were on the outside. People were on the inside. People were up, down, all around. That really was quite an experience. I right. still can't believe I have it. Wow. You, you know? have a lot of those, though. Yeah. You have a street named after you, Wendy Williams Way. Yes. yes. Listen, how many people have streets <laughs> named after them? You really do it all, Wendy. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, Asbury Park. That's where I was born. Jersey, where you at? And it, Jersey here. Yeah. It used to be called Central Avenue. Now, they still call it Central Avenue for people who aren't familiar with Wendy Williams Way. So it's Central Avenue. That's already there, but it says Wendy Williams Way. And I like to go there once a year just to, you know, take pictures oh. and, and see some of the people around there. And if anybody's awake or whatever, you know, I'll get their food for them and just... You know, Asbury Park is not all that it should be, though, mm. I have to tell you. So for those of you in Asbury Park, I know that there's a lot more that still needs to be done there. But Asbury Park is quite a place. Right. Quite a place. Well, I was going to ask you if you go back and visit. So that's awesome that you do that. Yeah. Do you ever just look and be like, wow, I've accomplished yeah. so much? Yes. Because you, you have. Yeah. You I really do it all. I've gone there by myself well, with somebody driving me. But um, I've um, gone to that Wendy Williams Walk of Fame um, a few times as well, uh, you know, and that's a real special thing. Yeah. The look of it and how it all got put together. And I don't even know the other people at, on the Walk of Fame. I don't know the other people who are in the same category as me. Right. Like, is it, is it just, you know, for people who did radio, now television? Right. Or is it people who are... You know, doctors who are now famous for something big in life. Right. You know, um, and no one ever told me. Yeah. And I never thought about it until now. Now I have lots of time to think about everything, which I, th which I love about that. You know, I go back to my apartment and I just sit and think about everything. Me and my cats chit-chat in my way. Because it reminds you who you are, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. You are. Yeah. Wendy Williams. Yeah. And when I fly, when I fly, because I'm going to take a year of my life to fly and do and see things I've never done in my life before. So I'm going to take a year while I'm Ooh. still young enough to be able to do it. So it's a bucket list. Yes. Okay, I need to know a couple that's on Okay. Here. Okay, well, the first thing is that I can't wait to fall in love. Okay. Now, I'm serious about that. You know, it's not enough that I sit home by myself at 58 years old. You know, um, I love men. <laughs> and, and, and I will never deny it. And the first thing I look at when I see men is, are they wearing the finger? Because if they're wearing the finger, then that's an immediate hello. But I would love to, I can't wait to fall in love. Yeah. And I don't want to get married. I want him to have already had kids. Mm. I want him to be someplace between, someplace around my age. You know, maybe 10 right. years younger than me and maybe 15 years older than me. Okay. You know what I mean? And then we'll be able to do things together. Like if we want to all of a sudden fly from New York City, if we want to fly to France to be there for two days to have food or whatever. Right. I want it to be able to, so, you know, I can be qualified with a man that, come on, baby, let's do it. Do we fly private or do okay. we fly pub pub public? Okay. <laughs> yes, all that stuff. Um, what else do I want to do? Oh, well, you know, I, was, I went to um, Northeastern University in Boston. Yes. And I, I'm... <clears throat> excuse me, right now I'm in the process of, and they've already told me this, I'm going to get an honorary doctorate. Oh, wow. Yes. So then Congratulations. Si simply just call me Dr. Wendy. I'll take Dr. it. Dr. Wendy, it. I love it. I'll take it. 
So there's a process that goes through before you actually do it. And I don't know what the processes are, but I do have an appreciation for, you know, going to, going to a college. I do have an appreciation for that. I don't know how many of you guys went to colleges, but I went to Northeastern University in Boston. It used to be a five-year program. The Midler year was where they took time to decide what they wanted to be when we all grew up. Yeah. But for me, the radio was already there at Northeastern University of Boston, so I only did it in four years, and I got out of wow. it. And it turns out right now, the way it is at Northeastern University in Boston, it's only a four-year program, and they said it's because of me. Oh, wow. Yeah. They said it's because of me. They don't need five years. You know, that's a lot of money for, for you know, you'd have to pay for that. But also, it's nice. It, you know what? It would be nice if kids knew what they wanted to do for the rest of their lives and mm. maybe know that by the time they're, say, 10. Yeah. See, I don't think 10 is so young. And I know for a lot of people, a lot of people, they don't re achieve what they really want to do until they're sometimes in their 30s. Right. You know, or their 40s. Sometimes in their 70s, they still haven't figured it out. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't understand that part. You know what I'm saying? Did you always know? Yes, when I was six years old. Wow. Yeah, when I was six years old and I was in Asbury Park at Wendy Williams Way. Um, and my mother and my father, my sister and my brother, you know, the whole family were all there. And I said, you know, st just leave me alone. This is what I want to do. I want to do radio and I want to be famous doing radio. Wow. And then in my 50s, I want to be able to stop doing radio and figure out what else it is that I want to do. And it turns out that, it, well, it's television, which is even bigger than radio, yeah. um, financially and otherwise. You know, just the idea of being on TV. But I never dreamt of that, you know. I thought it was kind of weird and awkward. But yeah, so I'm 58 and I feel so young in a lot of ways, but I feel so old and wise in some really yeah. important ways. And in other ways, I, I feel like I'm six years old. Like, how do you do that again? Right. What, what happens with that again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's awesome. So, okay, because you have clearly paved the way for so many people, right? A lot of people, you know, they say imitation is flattery. Yeah. You know, you did your radio thing, everybody emulates it, wants to be like Wendy, the daytime talk show, everybody wants to be like Wendy. So with the podcasting and even producing, yeah. because you produced. Yes. Um, I have that in the projects. I have a certain partnership that is my, in my partner with podcasts, and he's going to be the one to teach me what you just talked about. Oh, wow. The, because I don't, I don't know what to do except put on my wig, get, get, my, get my outfit together, and let's get out, and what do we do next? Right. You know, and that's where I ask. I have plenty of people helping me. Yeah. You know, even when I fly for that year, for that year I want to fly. You know, I've never been to Istanbul. Okay. So I don't, that's on the bucket list. I don't mind checking that out. Okay. You know, I've been to France before, but that was years ago. I would like to go back there. I have a feeling, yeah. excuse me, I have a feeling that I love France so much, I'll probably want to be there for like you several might weeks. Stay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm staying in New York City. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I stay where I'm from. Or Jersey. You, you know what I'm saying? Like from where we're from. Is that important to you? Yes. To stay where you grew up? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Okay, okay. We are talking live with Wendy Williams here. It's Circle of Sisters at Resorts World. Listen, this is home. Being here at WBLS, listen, Thanks. I would not be in this position or doing radio if it wasn't for you. Thank you. Grew up listening to Thank you, so you. it is an honor to be here talking hey, with you. Listen, can we get where people can ask questions as well? Sure. Y'all want to ask know? Wendy some questions? I don't know how you do it, but okay. if we could figure it out. We could definitely do that. That would be really great. Yes. So, so I want to do that. That that getting my doctorate though from Northeastern University of Boston. Too. That's that's a really big deal for me because then I want to be a part of it in some yeah. way or another. Yeah. Maybe they don't want to go to Northeastern University of Boston, but if they do, um, I want to somehow be a part of it. Yeah. Whether it's that I fly up there, you know, during the winter when it's cold, and I'm there for like four weeks right. teaching, teaching mm. something or another. Okay. Yes. So you like to teach? Yes. In my, is, own, in my own way. I was about to say, is there anything that you wanted to do other than be on the radio? Like, were you like a toss-up when you were younger? Like, you know, I could do this if I wasn't doing radio. Um, 
No, I can't think of it. Because I don't, television is the Wendy Williams show. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait until that's going to be on, hopefully, sometime shortly. Where it, but it'll be repeats. It won't be me. You know, it'll be repeats. But maybe in the lower corner of the repeat, maybe I'm making conversation yeah. with me or what I really felt about being there that particular day or something, something like that. Yeah. You know? I love it. Yeah. Okay. So the Wendy Experience podcast is coming soon. What are you going to be talking about? Because you talk about it all. Like, is there one thing that you're like, I'm really passionate about this and this is what we're going to focus on? No, Just there's not a particular everything. thing. You know what? Yeah, well, yeah, falling in love. Falling in, l like, like a, re a relationship, not yeah. screwing around right. all the time. Well, you know, dating uh, is different in 2020. Unless you're in your 20s. <laughs> like, yeah. this new era of dating, like, it's hard. It's hard out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's important to me, you People know. People on the apps. And have you ever done the apps, Tinder? I, no, I've heard about it. But see, I always thought that podcast was different from apps. But now I understand it's all basically yep. the same thing. Together, yep. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but I like podcasts. I can just so. imagine you swiping for the Tinder app because you have to swipe yes or no if you don't like yes. the person. Yes, <laughs> and, Like, what is your criteria? If you see somebody and you're like, hmm, you're going to get a swipe to the left. Like, this is not going to work. Well, it depends, depends on what they're talking about, you know. If they're talking about something stupid that <laughs> would be ridiculous to me. Um, for men, it would be, first of all, are you good looking? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. I mean, be honest. Yes. By the way, is that all your natural hair or is that a wig? It is a wig. It's and pretty. I, thank you. I put it on myself. How long have you been wearing a wig? Um, just a year. And is it normally your natural hair? Is it that long? It but comes to my shoulders. But it's like too right thin. Here. Yeah. I yeah. like the fullness of the wigs. See? It's see? easy. You get up and go. You don't have to, like, curl your hair, the dry only, it, wash the only, it don't have time. The only thing that I wouldn't do with the new man, you know, I told you I love the man. The only thing uh -oh. that I would not do is I would, I would always keep a wig on. You won't take your wig off? No, no. If you fell in love I, I don't. Love? I don't need to do that. Because we're in love in a whole different way. We're not in love because we're going to get married. We're not in love because, you know, I'm looking to, um, you know, take care of myself, make money for myself. I'm not looking to do anything but fall in love. And so my wigs will always stay on. <laughs> and I have two of them that I love the best. This one I love a lot, you know. But I, I also it. have one kind of like the one you have. Okay. And so I only go between the two of them. I love the blonde, though. I love the blonde. It brings out your eyes. No. Do you know her eyes are brown? They're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So look, we're going to take some questions right now. And I know I see some hands already. So okay. um, uh -oh. you say your Hi. name and your question. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. It's all good. It's all good. As a diehard Wendy fan from the beginning. Hey, thank you. The middle. Oh. And now the future. Thank you. I'm most interested. I've seen you, you know, at the highest of high, lowest of lows. Always coming back. Truly, truly, truly a phoenix rising. Thank you. Wendy does have the heat. Thank you. So I'd like to know, what gets you up every day? What gets me up every day? Um, because it, it, I wake up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm watching, then I start watching TV. And it could be like three, it could be like three o'clock in the morning. And Sex in the City is on. So now, okay, now I'm watching Sex in the City. And, and yeah, I, I have no, no particular reason to get up other than, than that there are places that I do have to be. But, like, even today, early, you know, if, if, if we were all supposed to get together at 10 o'clock in the morning, well, that is early for me. I would have to use an alarm. But because it's this time of day, no, I woke up very naturally to see you all here today. Very naturally. Yeah. And, by the way, I do have an alarm clock. Just in case, I do have to get up, though. I do have an alarm clock. I don't exactly know how to work it, you know, the, these, these Google yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, on the gadgets. Yeah, I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> it's but, a lot. but I have a regular alarm clock and one that you don't have to plug in, you know. So as long as my alarms are always working, I can get up to do whatever I want to do or nothing at all. Thank you for asking. Okay, yes. Do we have another question? Yes, good afternoon, Wendy. Right here. Straight ahead. Oh, hi. How, How you doing? doing? It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank I you. I don't have a question. I just have a compliment. You're an inspiration. 
I'm going back. Thank I'm 55 years old. I'm going back to school next year for broadcasting. This is my beautiful wife. Wow. And I've always wanted to do what you've done on the radio. I wow. used to listen to you years ago. Yeah, you used to make us mad. Come on, we all get Yeah. Mad. But when I saw your movie and understood who you are, thank I'm in love you. with you. Thank you. We're in love with you. You're you, an inspiration. You so know, thank you. You thank know, you very that, much. that, 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 um, me d doing that, would, would you just call what I did? Say again? What Inspirational. Is, no, no, no. Inspiration. No, what, the thing on TV that I did. Would, would you call it? What did I call it? Wendy Williams got the heat or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah, yes. I was, uh, I was a part in getting that all happen together. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was right. very important that I talk to the me and also the ex um, so that I can get their cadence and what they should be talking about and things like that. Yeah. And I watched it. It doesn't, come along, it doesn't come along a lot, though. I haven't seen that in a while. I wish that they would replay that. I did have fun doing that. It was shady, <laughs> in a good way. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. We have one more question. Straight ahead. Hi, my name is Camelia. I'm over where here. She? She's like, look, she's like, where is she talking? She's on the left. Straight ahead. Oh. Right here. Oh, hi. Okay. Hi. hi. Um, I'm 25 years old. I work as an associate producer at WABC. My question to you is, um, would you recommend marriage, and how do you know when you've fallen in love? Would I re recommend marriage? No, I would never <laughs> marry again in my life. <laughs> Why? Because uh, I love, I don't love that hard. Then again, I'm older than you. You know what I'm saying? There's no money in marriage for me. I, I don't care. I, and, and, and look, the man could have tons more money than me. Hopefully he will. But I don't want to get married uh, in that way. But I recommend you try to tr do it for you. And okay. do it as many times as you need to do before you're finally sick and tired of being sick and tired, <laughs> and then change it. If you get married five times, I'm not, I can't be mad at you. Okay. you know, but every time you uh, finish with a relationship, and this goes for whether you're children. Yeah, I have a In the relationship, uh, see, two is very, very young. Mm. So then he would automatically be a part of your life. A uh -huh. two-year-old, that's really, really young. How old are the kids that you would like to... Get involved with the man. Um, he's nine years old. Oh. He's 25. He's 34. Oh. Wow. You like him older. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Right? Woo. <laughs> well, you know, hang in there. Take your time. And, um, and good luck. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. That wouldn't, that, that's something I wouldn't do. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Nine years older and she's young. Hey, Nick, do we have time for one more? You want to do one more? Yes. Come on. Let's do these questions. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Hi. How you doing? Good. I'm Melinda <laughs> from WBLS. Question. Has there ever been a... Yeah, Madonna. Oh. Madonna. I have, to, I have to tell you, and I heard through Madonna, there was a, there was a two-way phone call, and Madonna was on the other line. And this is a friend of mine. And we happened to have been at my apartment in New York City, my, my apartment. And the phone rang, and it was Madonna calling my friend. And she put it on the three-way so I could actually hear. And Madonna watched the Wendy Williams show. Well, who knew? <laughs> so I am such a super-duper fan of Madonna. I can't wait to meet her. I can't wait to become some sort of friendliness with her. Um, I know that you know she's always busy traveling to do movies and all that other kind of stuff that I really don't care about being that busy for. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to meet Madonna. Love it. Yeah, and and I can't wait uh, to re meet LL Cool J. Oh. Who I've met a, a few times, but never on the Wendy Williams show. As much as I could think about it, I'm like no. I, he was never on the Wendy Williams show. Why hasn't he ever been to New York City? Why don't I know who this person is? Why, why don't I have them in their phone? <laughs> right? I mean, I don't know how long your list of phones that you have on your phone, but mine is really short for all the things that I've been through. I mean, I do write them down, so I can always redo it if I'd like to. But... Yeah, I have well under, put it this way, well under 100 people on my phone. Oh, wow. Well under 100 people. Who's the go-to person you call? I don't want to say. <laughs> but he's here right now. His name is Will. 
I, I talk to Will regularly. I also talk to my, my best friend, um, Lisa. Lisa lives in, she doesn't live here. Okay. And, um, and I talk to my friend, Regina. Regina is in California, but Regina plans on flying back and forth like once every four months, you know, to be able to see me. Right. Which I appreciate that. Yeah, we talk about how important it is to have that circle. Yeah. You know, circle of sisters. That's why we're here. So you have to have that circle around yeah. you. So. But none of them are close to me, though, in terms of coming over. I mean, he, the closest one would be Will. Yeah. And Will is busy with his own life. You know what I'm saying? He's got... He's got um, uh, a full family right. and a lot of other things to tend to, you know. So um, my close friends, I don't have any really close friends that I can just, like, pick up my phone and say, come on, let's go out to eat. I mean, I know people to do that with. Yeah. But honestly, they're, they're not best friends. They're just people that I know, and we exchange information and conversation and, and like that. Weird, but true. And I'm fine with that. Yeah. Well, yeah. you said you would want to be close, like besties with Madonna. Is there somebody else that you would want to be like, if I could choose, like, I want her to be my best friend. Yes. Him. My friend Lisa and my friend Regina. And those are two regular people yeah. that I've known them for years. Yeah. Um, just regular people. They're not famous or anything like that. But they're busy. They've got their own lives, you know? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. We have one last question. Okay. And thank you all for these questions. Okay, shout out to you, Just Nick. You're doing a great job interviewing the queen. Thank you. First, this is just a comment. Can we all just give Wendy a standing ovation for a moment? Absolutely. Please? Thank I you. I'll take as well. it. Thank you. Absolutely. Can you can you see me? She's um, to the I'm left. I'm right here. You see me? All right. Many are called and a few are chosen. You are the light. You are the love. You are the heartbeat of our community. It is no surprising that you said you have new meaning in your feet because you have walked the fire for us, sister. Mm. You have blazed the trail for us, sister. And there are millions of us standing behind you, holding you up. You keep going, Wendy. Don't give up. Because you sub you 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 got it going on. And y'all give her her flowers and put some respect on that name. Thank you. Drops mic. Um, just you know, yeah. Um, I, I I have tears of laughter, but also tears of sincere. Just thank you all so much for being here today. I wish more people could have been here, but. This won't be my last time to ever do this again. What I like about doing the Wendy Williams show, not doing the Wendy Williams show, I can do, again, like I said, I can do everything I want or nothing at all. So I will definitely be back here. No, 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 time, like, no time like now, but you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I would love to see more people to have our conversation. Does anybody have anything bad to say about me? Do, 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 do I have no. to fight with anybody? Okay. This is Circle of Sisters. This is about empowerment. Okay, we honor you today. Oh, wow. That is why you're here. I appreciate you. Okay, now how do we leave? <laughs> how do we leave here now? Well, everyone, please, a big round of applause for the legendary Wendy Williams. <laughs> <laughs>